All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the best skills to land a remote job in 2024. And these are going to be skills where if you can get good at even one of them, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to land your dream remote job. And this is coming from someone who has hired hundreds of people between being a manager and also a business owner. And I've helped hundreds, if not thousands more people get their dream remote jobs as well. So if you appreciate me doing videos like this, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list which is going to be sales skills so sales is the most common career path that millionaires and billionaires had in their past and it's a career that you can get into without a college degree or previous experience and to be honest with you i think that sales is the one job that literally everyone should do at least once in their lifetime even if you only end up doing it for a single summer for instance maybe you're knocking doors for the summer or you're making cold calls it is going to teach you skills that is going to help you in every area of your life for the rest of your life. And not only that, but you can make a ton of money right off the bat. So for instance, there's a website called Dynamite Jobs that hires only for remote jobs. And 11.5% of all of the jobs posted on Dynamite Jobs have to do with business development and sales. And business development is just a fancy word for basically qualifying sales calls, right? So making sure that the person is actually qualified to buy the product or the service. And on top of that, I've gone to lots of different business conferences and sales is almost always the number one pain point of business owners. They cannot find enough good salespeople. So if you're hungry and you're not afraid to talk to other people on the phone or in person, sales is an incredibly good opportunity for you. And I honestly recommend that everyone should do this at least once. And by the way, if you're thinking, oh, I'm an introvert, I can't do sales. I'm an introvert and the best salespeople I know are also introverts because one of the most important skills in sales is being able to listen to other people. And I also interviewed Antoine on the channel last year and he makes over $500,000 a year in a sales job. Okay, so I don't know what else to say. Sales is incredibly valuable. There's so many different types of jobs that you can get. Some of the best industries to go into, for instance, are going to be the technology industry. You can go into insurance sales, solar sales, medical supply sales, and also selling high ticket products and services. So yeah, this one is insanely good. Probably one of the most valuable skills you could ever learn. Next is going to be content creation. So this one is not only good for landing a job, but it's also, in my opinion, the number one opportunity if you want to start your own business. Whenever I've met other business owners, for instance, in e-commerce or people who started software companies, I get the impression that almost all of them are extremely smart and also hardworking. However, when I've met other business owners who started off with content creation, I'm not trying to be mean, but some of them were not that intelligent. And a a lot of them weren't that hardworking either. And that's because this is one of the easiest ways to make money online. Now, it may not be that way five or 10 years from now because there's so much opportunity. And there's a lot of people that are realizing that there's so much opportunity as well. For instance, the All In podcast is for billionaires who started a podcast and started posting it on YouTube, right? If billionaires are doing this, you know it's gotta be a good opportunity. But this is seriously one of the easiest ways to make money online. Now, I am personally biased. I think YouTube is the best type of content creation. But if you notice, famous TikTok stars and famous people on Instagram almost always migrate over to YouTube. And there's a reason for that, because YouTube is where the big money is at. It's easier to make money on YouTube than any other platform. Now, on other platforms, it may be easier to get your initial views. But when it comes to making money, YouTube is king. Now, I actually do some YouTube coaching on the side just because I had so many people reaching out to me for coaching. Some of them are making over six figures a month, all the way up to over $500,000 a month. And I myself am also making over six figures a month with this exact channel that you're watching. So if you're interested in my coaching, I will put a link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I'm very picky about who I work with because I only want to work with people who are extremely serious about being successful on YouTube. But yeah, you can definitely apply for it by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And also on top of being a great business opportunity, it's also really easy to land jobs in content creation. I mean, think about it. Mr. Beast has a billion dollar brand. He's launched launching $100 million companies with single videos on YouTube. There's also lots and lots of people out there that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month with tiny channels with only a few thousand subscribers. And guess what? Those people probably want to hire other people to help them with content creation to save themselves time because they have lots of money, but they don't have lots of time. And so there's tons of different content creation jobs out there that are extremely valuable. For instance, content creators in general make about 47 to $80,000 a year when they work in a 
job. And positions like creative director make a lot more than that. For instance, it's been shown on certain job listing websites that searches like social media content manager saw a 361% growth in the last six months, right? So more and more people are searching for these types of positions. And that's because they're making a ton of money doing this. So yeah, tons of opportunity when it comes to content creation. I think the creator economy is still at its infancy. I think it's going to be like 100 times bigger than it is now here pretty soon. For instance, being a YouTuber is the number one career that Gen Z wants. It's above being an astronaut or a sports star or a pop star or an actor or a doctor or a lawyer. And so just about everybody wants to be a successful YouTuber. So yeah, this one is incredibly valuable, not only to get a job, but also to start a business. And by the way, comment down below your favorite of all the skills that I list, and I'll probably make a video on it in the future. Next is going to be personal branding. Now this is somewhat closely related to content creation, but I wanted to talk about this separately because the distinction is very important. And personal branding is basically where you create content online, but you do it as yourself, right? So you're not creating it as a company or anything like that. And this is incredibly effective. And if you don't believe me, I just want to ask you a question. Who has more followers on the internet, Elon Musk or Tesla? <laughs> Now, the answer to that is, of course, Elon Musk. Elon Musk has more followers and his following on the internet is one of the biggest reasons why he's been so successful. Because people are kind of tired of buying stuff from soulless corporate entities. They want to buy stuff from other people and specifically other people that share their same values or characteristics. And that's why personal branding is so incredibly powerful. And again, there's lots of opportunities here, both from a job perspective, as well as a starting your own business perspective. Next is going to be digital marketing. And this is a career I've talked about a lot on this channel. There's lots of different types of digital marketing as well. It kind of encompasses a wide range of different careers. But basically, this is marketing on the internet, right? So it's not like a billboard or cold calling people or door to door sales or sending out mail or flyers. So this could be something like running ads on a social media platform like Instagram or Facebook or running ads on a search engine like YouTube or Google or something like SEO. SEO, which is search engine optimization. And that's where you create articles that are Google friendly so that they basically show up at the top of Google when someone searches a particular keyword. Another part of digital marketing is email marketing. So that's basically sending out emails to your customers or your newsletter subscribers. And yeah, digital marketing is a lot more effective than traditional marketing. And the reason for that is because you can actually track things. With traditional marketing, it's incredibly difficult to track things. I mean, imagine if you bought like a giant billboard banner. How how do you track how many calls are actually coming from that banner? You pretty much can't. Also, imagine if you're running TV ads. How do you track how many calls or how many sales are coming from those TV ads? You really can't. That's the same problem with radio ads as well. You can kind of guesstimate, but you can never really track it. Whereas with digital marketing, you can track down to a T exactly how much money you're getting from an ad. And this allows you to change your marketing. It allows you to split test things, and it allows you to target certain customers that might be better for your product. So digital marketing, marketing is incredibly effective. And I've actually helped a ton of people get digital marketing jobs. I've even interviewed them on this channel. And they all got jobs from my friend Seth, who's probably the world renowned expert on helping people get digital marketing jobs. He's helped 1000s and 1000s of people get jobs. He has tons of different testimonials from it. And he has a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below that explains exactly what digital marketing is, the different types of digital marketing and answers pretty much every question you could possibly have on digital marketing and how to get into it. So definitely click that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to check out that free masterclass. Next is going to be a type of email marketing, but I decided to separate this and that is going to be cold email. Now cold email is very interesting because not only can you make money doing it as a job, but you can also make money doing it for your business. And it's one of the most valuable skills you can possibly learn whether or not you actually make money from it. And let me explain. Cold emailing is basically the the ability to find someone's email address and then cold email them something and get them to respond. So you can see how this would be incredibly valuable when it comes to getting a job, for instance. If you're good at cold email, you will never have trouble getting a job for the rest of your life because you will be able to simply find the decision makers, the people who actually make the decision when it comes to hiring for jobs, and then send a bunch of them a customized email and a certain percentage of them will almost always respond. So I've cold emailed people and I've been able to get in touch with people who I honestly never thought would give me the time of 
day. And you'd be extremely surprised if you get even decent at this skill, who you can actually get in touch with and network with. So this is one of those skills where even if you end up not doing it as a job, you end up not doing it as a freelancer or starting your own business, it's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. And it is going to serve you well. But with that being said, there's lots of different job opportunities out there for this as well. And email marketing specialists make about 52 to $81,000 a year on average. And there's this pretty cool story I heard of Coinbase's first employee in 2013. And they basically cold emailed the founders for a job and they were paid in Bitcoin for three years. So yeah, tons and tons of opportunity here. Definitely a good one to look into. Next is going to be management skills. And this is the ability to manage other people. And let's be honest here, it's kind of hard to define exactly what this is. But I think all of us who have had jobs and we've had bad managers will know what bad management looks like. And then all of us who have had a job and we've had good managers really appreciate that. And business owners are always looking for good managers. Why? Because it frees up a ton of their time and it allows them to scale their company. Now, management skill is something that you can absolutely learn. And you have to get really good at communication. You also have to get really good at dealing with other people, dealing with different personality types. And that can be very difficult. Not everyone has this skill, but it is something that you can learn and get better at. A very similar skill to this, which is the next one on the list, is going to be leadership skills. And leadership skills are basically what separates good managers from great managers. And they're really what separates good from great in many different industries. We're talking like sports, for instance, basketball, football, soccer, etc., entrepreneurship, and just about any industry you can think of. And it is a little bit different than management, but I decided to put them together because they do kind of go hand in hand. But this is another skill that companies are always looking for. If you can be a good leader, you are always going to have a job. And one example of management and leadership that's pretty direct is going to be a project manager. And they make around 80 to $129,000 a year. But there's like a million different jobs out there where you need management slash leadership skills. So yeah, these two are incredibly valuable. They are ones where you're going to need experience in order to get really good at them. And so if you ever get an opportunity to be a manager or be a leader, I highly recommend taking it because it's something where you absolutely need experience to get good at it. The next skill is going to be copywriting. So copywriting is kind of like selling, but over the written word. And you really have to have a deep understanding of sales, marketing, and human psychology to be a good copywriter. And this is very similar to sales in that the skills you learn here are going to serve you for the rest of your life, no matter what you end up doing. And this is one where I highly recommend specializing in a particular niche. So you don't wanna be like a generalist copywriter if you can help it. You wanna specialize in something you're either passionate about, something you're very good at, or at the very least, something where you know you can make a lot of money. So for instance, you could specialize in copywriting for software companies, right? SaaS or software as a service companies. And remote copywriters make about 59 to $93,000 a year. And this is another one where you don't need previous experience, you don't need a college degree, and there's tons of opportunity out there. And there's also a lot of jobs that are kind of similar to copywriter, but they're a little bit different. For instance, you could become a script writer for YouTube, and there's a lot of copywriting elements in there, but it's a little bit different. You can also be an SEO copywriter, and this is where you make search engine optimized copywriting content. So yeah, there's just a lot of opportunity out there for this, and it is definitely a good one to get into. Next is going to be tech related skills. So this is basically anything technology related because the technology industry is probably the best industry you could possibly work in. There's the most opportunity in the tech industry. They have the best benefits. They have the highest pay and they have the best work life balance. So basically anything tech related, some really good ones are of course going to be coding. You could also get into data analytics. You could get into cybersecurity. You could even start off with something super simple like IT. And just to give you some ideas, of what these different types of jobs make. Web developers make 70 to $120,000 a year. Those are people who basically code websites. Data scientists make 110 to $250,000 a year. UX UI developers make 90 to $160,000 a year. UX stands for user experience. UI stands for user interface. And software engineers make 85,000 to $200,000 a year. So you can see these are some super high paying jobs. Now, the thing about this one is you don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into 
to them, but you do need to know your stuff. It used to be that you could get into these jobs if you just had like a warm body and a pulse. These days, you actually have to know your stuff to get into these jobs. So you have to take classes online, take some certificates and certifications, build out a portfolio so you can prove that you know what you're talking about. And that's how you get a job if you don't have previous experience or a college degree. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, share it with friends, family members, or if you can think of anybody who just needs to get a freaking job, go ahead and share this video with them. Next is going to be communication skills. And this is another one of those kind of intangible skills, kind of like leadership, where it's kind of hard to define exactly what it is, but it's incredibly important. Now, the worst thing you could possibly do is go and get a communications degree. Do not do that, right? Just because the skill is valuable does not mean the degree is valuable. But all of the most successful people in the world have outstanding communication skills. And this involves things like conveying ideas effectively. It involves things like understanding the other person's perspective. It involves things like emotional empathy and emotional intelligence. It involves things like being a good listener. And this is, again, one of those skills where if you get it down early on in your life, it is going to serve you for the rest of your life, no matter what you end up doing, not only in the business world and the employment world, but also in your personal life. And communication specialists do make about 56 to $92,000 a year. So you can get hired for these types of jobs as well. Next is going to be social media management. And this is basically where you manage the flow of content for a brand or a company that's creating content on social media. So for instance, you could be a specialist that manages Instagram. I actually recently just hired somebody to do this. And they basically just manage my entire Instagram. They make sure that the content gets posted on a regular schedule. They make sure that I am filming the content at the right time. And they make sure to monitor what type of content is doing well and what people want to see. And social media managers make about 50 to $82,000 a year. And this is another one of those jobs where you don't need a college degree. You don't need previous experience. However, I highly recommend specializing in a particular niche. For instance, Instagram. The next skill that's going to be invaluable for you to learn is research skills. And one word that always comes into my mind when I think of research skills is resourcefulness. How resourceful are you? How do you go about solving problems? And the internet is like a world of information. You can find just about any information you're looking for on the internet. However, there's a bunch of bad information out there and sometimes it's hard to find the good information. And that's what research skills is all about. So one thing about research skills is kind of developing an intuitive sense of what information is good and bad. Another really important part of research skills is knowing where to go to find good information. And another really important part of research skills is knowing how to solve problems using the internet. So this is something that's incredibly important for my employees to know, for instance, because whenever a problem pops up, I don't want them coming to me automatically. I want them to try to search the internet to solve the problem themselves first. And I can't tell you how many thousands of problems have popped up in my business that I have solved by searching the internet. A lot of the time it's on YouTube. So yeah, research skills are extremely important and no matter what you do, they're going to serve you for the rest of your life. Next, is going to be AI prompting. And this is an incredibly new skill, but it's also incredibly important for you to get good at. AI is rapidly developing, and I'm sure everybody watching this video has tried out ChatGPT, for instance. And when it comes to the programming world and the prompting world, there's this sort of acronym called GIGO, and that means garbage in, garbage out. And so if you ask ChatGPT a crappy question, like a garbage question, or if you just give it a garbage prompt, you are going to get garbage results, right? Because garbage garbage in, garbage out. However, if you ask it a good question or you give it a good prompt, you are going to get good results. And so AI prompting is incredibly valuable. And there are prompt engineers that are making up to $375,000 a year. And AI prompt engineers in general make about 96 to $143,000 a year. So yeah, insanely valuable skill to learn. You can also learn it completely free on the internet. There's lots of different resources out there to do this. And you do not need a college degree or previous experience experience to get into these roles. All you need is to prove that you have the skills and you do that by making a portfolio. Next is going to be project management skills. Now, I know I kind of talked about management before and I also talked about leadership, but project management has more to do with organization and it also has more to do with making sure that everyone's on the same page and making sure that projects get done on time. So for instance, there's a lot of project management software out there. You've probably seen monday.com or Asana and it's extremely useful 
useful for everyone to kind of be on the same page and be able to use that project management software to keep things organized. So this is another one of those skills that is extremely valuable. For instance, you could become an operations manager or a project manager by learning these skills. And those are two types of jobs that pay extremely well. For instance, project managers make about 80 to $129,000 a year. So yeah, another super valuable skill set. It's another one of those things where it's going to help you get a job. It's also going to help you if you ever start a business. And it's extremely useful once you start getting to the point where you have maybe more than five or 10 employees. Next, let's talk about social skills. And specifically, we're going to talk about networking. So networking is incredibly valuable and social skills in general, just being able to talk to people is one of the most valuable skills you are ever going to learn. And again, this is another one of those skills where the earlier you learn it, the better, because it's going to serve you for the rest of your life, no matter what you end up doing. And I can say that networking has probably brought me more job opportunities, more opportunities in the business world than any other skill. And I kind of believe that God sort of designed the world like this, where you sort of have to work with other people to provide value. And basically, when you work with other people, it provides excess value. So it's not like one plus one equals two. It's more like one plus one equals three or one plus one equals five. The math speaks for itself. And so it grows the pie when you work with other people so that there's more pie for everybody to eat. And think about it. This is why we're not living in caves anymore. This is why the free market economy works so well, because it incentivizes people to work together to create excess value. And I think that one of the absolute best books you could ever read on this subject, probably the number one book I have ever read in my life is How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is a classic book. I think it was written in like the 1920s or something like that, but it is one of the best books that has ever been written. It's super simple. Like every single chapter, you're going to read it and you're like, really? That's all you have to do? Are you serious? But then you go out and you try it in real life and it just, it works. So How to Win Friends and Influence People, probably my number one book recommendation. I've read it probably two or three times now. I always come back to it again and again. And yeah, it is just super, super valuable book. And it's also extremely wholesome. It, it basically just tells you to like give value to people and that's how you get value in return. So yeah, social skills, networking, just insanely valuable. It's a great way to get a job. It's a great way to keep a job. It's a great way to get promotions. It's a great way to start a business. It's a great way to network. Social skills are invaluable. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did make a video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. And you can check that out by clicking right here.